Testing, testing. Testing, is it working? All good. Hey guys, Captain Fructose here, and welcome back to another episode of Cities Skylines. Last time we started constructing this addition to our city, and apparently, as per usual, I forgot to add water lines in here to supply water to everything. So I was just doing that. But a lot of you actually commented on the last video and suggested that I uh, put some residential over here, slash build a tram over here, and a bunch of other really great ideas. So I wanted to thank you guys so much for commenting and giving me all these great ideas. Because it's going to make the city that much better. So I'm excited for it. But first things first, we were going to um, finish developing, because we started on this uh, rail line, right? Like this uh, monorail. So I'm thinking we're just going to kind of uh, continue with it. Maybe, assuming I can make it work correctly, because as you can see here, it's kind of in an odd place. Uh, where is the monorail system? Monorail. There we go. Okay, so can it, it can't turn at a perfectly right angle, though, which is a problem. And then let's we'll see if it'll let me... What the... There we go. Okay, so it let me place it there, and then... Slope too steep. Slope too steep. Fine. Do that, and then it'll come back across here, and then... Just have it, like, reconnect like that. That works. All right, so now that we got that done, let's go ahead and add us some stops. So we'll start with a new line here, and then we will have it, oh, whoa, I almost missed this station. We'll add a stop there, and we'll come clear over here, which is where all of the other stops are. And we'll add a stop there, and there, and here, and there, and did I put it, I didn't put a station over there. Mm, but I did put rail lines all the way over here, so I'm thinking, we should probably at least put a station. That is a road station. Yep, yep, yep. We don't need that one. We would need, like, a not a road over the road one. We need a by the road one. Like that one. So we'll just go ahead and connect that up there and that up there. All right, so back to working on our tram line or our monorail line. All right, and then we'll go here at a stop. And then we will bring it back to where? To here? To here. And then we'll bring it back over here. But we'll bypass that stop. And then we'll bring it and... Oh, I don't need it to turn around like that. Ooh. That would have been good to know. But we have a monorail line. And I guess we can just, you know, go ahead and delete this one. Because apparently we don't need it. Because it'll just go backwards. So there's that. So we'll just leave that there. Hopefully our driver's smart enough not to run off of the end of the monorail line. But we will find out. I kind of want to see one working, though. Where is the monorail? Probably over here somewhere. Maybe. Then again, maybe not. But we do have demand for residential. So we'll start out with zoning in some residential over here to try and connect up the power Anyway, maybe. Okay, there we go. So we got some residential put in so we can run some power lines from here to here. So that should run power. Oh, let's speed up time a little bit here. Oh, there goes a monorail. There went one. I saw it. I saw it. Somebody needs to build right here. Well, apparently they're connected to the power anyway, so that's good. All righty. Oh, they're taking forever to build over here, though. Do they need a... Uh, oh, yep, they definitely do need a fire station over here. Fire station or two. Good freak. Fine, we'll put a fire station right there, too. Happy now. And then we're going to need a police station, so we'll throw in a police station there. So we got fire, we got police. We need... You know what? We'll just put in a big health center here. Because why not? How's the fire situation? You know, maybe I should put in a big fire station. I don't know. I don't know. We need another police station over here, though. 
And then, okay, so that is slowly filling, very, very slowly. Like, I've got time sped up. Why is it taking, like, why is it going so slow? I don't know, but the monorails are running, which is good. There's no power at either of these stops, though, which is a problem. So let's go ahead and attempt to connect up power through building, residential buildings, to try and connect the power. Hopefully that'll, oh, there we go. That's connected up now, so that monorail line should be up and or that station. It's this station. Look how beautiful that is. Oh my goodness, my city is amazing. Uh, is now connected. Okay, so that's good. We definitely wanted that to be connected. Um, we could do a whole commercial district right here, which would be a good one to do, I think, because the monorail line's right there, so people should be able to get there fairly easily. And now that monorail line, now all the stops should have power. It's going to take it a while to expand and grow and build and stuff, but it is making progress, which is good. So little monorail lines going. Oh my gosh, this is awesome. We have monorails in the city now. Holy crap. All right, and several of you suggested that we uh, expand this to go all the way over to our commercial area on the other side of the island, which is what we are going to do. So let's go ahead and uh, expand this over to there so people can ride the cable cars over there. All right, so we've just finished building this, the rest of the cable car line. So we've got this cable car end of line stop here over on our little shoreline over here that's complaining about not having enough people. So it actually goes up over the mountain. I mean, look at the view you're going to get riding on this thing. Like, you can see the entire city from up here. And, like, it goes over this, like, canyon right there. Like, the view from these cable cars is absolutely amazing. And then, of course, we changed this stop from an end-of-line stop to just, like, you know, a stop. So they just kind of stop right here before they continue on. And I thought about going up and over the rail line, but I was like, nah, I'm going to have to build it way, 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 way too tall to get it over that. So I decided to go underneath it. So we went underneath it, and they stay kind of low to the ground. And then they climb up the mountain, and look at that view. Oh, my gosh. That is an amazing view. You guys are totally right. Like, this is, like, the best view ever. Like, these people are getting an absolutely amazing view riding on these things. Holy crap. I don't know how many people it'll actually bring over, but hopefully it'll bring over a pretty good amount. I mean, it's already serviced 42 people since last week. So, that's a good thing, right? Hopefully that'll bring in. So, there's a few new people. So, hopefully it'll keep bringing in more new people to come shopping. Because this area is having issues. Oh, yeah, look at that. That one just disappeared, so maybe maybe it will help. I'm hoping it will anyways. As long as it brings more people over, that is the main thing. Because this area is having issues. Major issues. Apparently the buses aren't enough to carry people over. So hopefully the cable cars will make up the difference. At least that's the goal. I don't know if it will or not, but that's what I'm hoping for it to do. Oh, crap, I forgot to... Oh man. Forgot to put in the, the, the line from here to the ah poop. Um I don't know. We'll leave it there for now for a possible future monorail expansion project, maybe? Yeah. I think we'll go with that. That'll be my excuse, I guess. Alright, so how is this area over here doing? Oh, it looks like it's doing pretty well actually. It's up to three stars now. We're exporting glass. We're exporting... Wow. So we're making money off of it, which is good now. It's about time we started making money off of it. Output zero tons. Why are we outputting zero tons of metal? We're outputting plenty of ore. 56 tons of it. Ooh. Wait. What? We're already over the next level. Aren't we? Or are we? I don't know. We're producing plenty of ore, though, that's for sure. We could probably turn more of it into glass. The metals, holy crap. That is a lot of storage of metals. Maybe I should put another grinder in? And then, like, we could get more metals to sell. Or even more glass, I don't know. Medium ore mine. So we could put in a medium ore mine. 
There is a seabed mining vessel, but I don't know that we have any under the rotary kiln plant. It turns ore, raw materials heats them to high temperature, like ore pellets can be used in steel production. Oh, rotary kiln plant. This thing's humongous. Good night. All right, we'll build it. Wow, that's huge. I mean, look at the size of that thing. What a crap. Oh, it outputs metals too. So we're gonna be putting out all kinds of metals. They're filling it up with ore though, because we definitely have plenty of ore. Like we have so much that we're exporting it. So hopefully this will allow us to export more metals, which will bring in more moolah. We want more money. Because we get paid more for metals and glass and stuff than we do for ores. So the more we can pro or we can process into goods like glass and metal, the better. So let's see if we can put in another glass processing plant thingy here. We'll put it right there. So that should be good, and that should help bring in even more money. More money. I hope if they'll ever freaking deliver ore to it. Seem to be having issues with that. I don't know. Maybe they'll get it to work. Hello. Bring it some ore. Like, you got a whole storage thing that's almost full there. Bring some over to the glass manufacturing plant so we can manufacture more glass to sell. What is your guys' problems? Do it. All right, well, we're producing metals and glass. Apparently, we didn't put out very much this uh, week. I'm assuming this is weekly. Wait, wait, wait. It said it. It said it. It said it. Where did it go? Where did it go? Come back. Or not. Whatever. We're importing ores? We shouldn't be importing anything. Like, I have so much I'm exporting it all. Like, I'm exporting the extras. So we should have more than enough. Hmm. Whatever. As long as we're exporting and making money, that is the main thing. But I should be exporting more metals. Because I just built this huge rotary kiln plant, which should be producing a ton of metals. Not enough raw materials. I think we just sold all the metal out of that. Um. Yeah. Look at that. Look at that. So it is bringing us money. That is what I like to see, ladies and gentlemen. Um, we still have more demand for residential. Um, oh dear, that does not have water out here. That's a problem. Let's connect it up to water. Does it have electricity? No, it does not. But there's a power line right there, so we can fix that. There we go. Now it has water and electricity. It's got the both of them. All right, we'll zone in some more residential there. Maybe some more over here, because we have more demand for it, and people want to move into our city because it is freaking awesome. So why would they not want to move into our awesome city? I think I would. There we go. Put some parks in. That'll help increase land values and make people want to live here, right? Hopefully. That's the goal. Let's see, I think we need another one over here as well. Yeah. There we go. That's a nice park or two here. Right. That's looking better. That'll increase land values at least. At the very least. Put in some more commercial zoning in there. That'll be good. We always need more commercial. That's for show. Um... Right, so that's expanding good and uh, growing part of the city. We don't have much demand for industrial at the moment, so I'm going to fill this in with more office buildings, I think. Once, you know, the demand for office buildings slash industrial goes up enough to do it, we will do that. Um, we have a huge warehouse here. How full is this? Mm, it's not too bad. It's about half full. So... All right, how is this doing? Oh, actually, uh, you know what, guys? I think that tram worked. Over here, not so much, but 
there's a lot less buildings complaining about not having enough customers. So I think this cable car system is doing a lot of good for this little tourism area over here. I think this is helping too. I think the ferries definitely help with that too. So ferries and the buses and the tram brings in enough people to shop in our lovely tourist area over here. I mean, who wouldn't want to come here? It's like a little paradise next to the ocean. So, I mean, who wouldn't want to come here? We've got piers. It's just beautiful. It's a beautiful place. I wonder if we could build a resort or something up here. That would be cool. Big, huge resort on the top of the mountain. I mean, imagine those views. I mean, look at that. You could see the whole city from up here. It's amazing. So beautiful. I love it. How's our water situation? Oh, it's not bad. We're good there. What about electricity? Ah, we're fine on electricity too. I just can't believe how big the city's getting. We have 84,000 people living here. Like, holy moly. There's a lot of people. And it's just keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Could put a, probably another housing development up and through here. At some point, probably not right now, but at some point we can do that. Um, all right, well, it looks like that's all I have time for in this episode, guys. So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please leave a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, guys, thank you so much for joining me on this wonderful adventure. And I will see you on the next one. Bye, guys.